Um. Okay. Uh, day eleven, I think. Yesterday. Uh, oh, I'm really tired. Um, I had a pretty terrible night's sleep because my leg was really itchy in the brace, um, which sucked. But you know. Uh, there was nothing I could really do to stop it from itching because it was round where the dressing was and then kind of the back of my leg as well. Um, yeah, I hated it. Really, really tired. Um, but had physio yesterday, which was really good. Oh, excuse me. Um, but I think I'd like doing my exercises earlier in the day I went quite hard with them I did some upper body stuff with my new weights that I've got um, and that obviously completely knackered me out because when I got home I was so tired and when it came to go to bed I was just like really shaky getting up the stairs because I was so tired um, so I need to be a bit more aware on that of like being tired because I think uh, if I don't pay attention to it I could like fall over or something so yeah um, dressings are supposed to come off today uh, so mum's going to do that when she gets home um, so I'll be able to show you the massive scar on my leg um, but I'm going to have to wear something over the top of it to stop the um, brace from rubbing, I think. Uh, yeah, what else happened yesterday? I went outside yesterday into the garden just for like half hour during the day because I need that bit of fresh air. Um, so, yeah, I needed to kind of get outside and just chill out for a bit. So I chilled outside for about half an hour. Uh, yeah, it's just a. Uh, oh, I'm still really tired. I got up quite early this morning. Um, tried sleeping on my side last night with a pillow between my legs, which seemed to work a little bit. Um, the main issue is and will continue to be my foot. It's not pain in my knee or anything, it's just my foot. Uh, it's like ting I get a tingling and sometimes burning pain uh, and it's all because of this nerve damage and, and like I said until I've seen the nerve specialist we have no idea how um, long term it's going to be. It's going to take a long time to recover, we already know that, it's just whether it's actually going to recover at all. But I really want to kind of get a bit of a um, more of a, a sense of knowledge about that. <sighs> um, I presume it's going to recover at least a little bit anyway. But um, if I've lost total use of my foot, then that's kind of a big issue. Um, to come to terms with and will obviously affect a lot of stuff so um, I've got that nerve specialist meeting in a couple of weeks um, but again Graham the physio said he was happy with my progress said he, he knew he could tell that I was working hard gave me another couple of new exercises to do so we're moving at quite a fast pace at the moment just like with increasing my workload, which is obviously good, um, because he obviously thinks I'm up for up to it. So um, again, challenging myself on that, and then challenging myself, but then not taking it too far. I think is a really important thing. So um, being able to spot the difference between hard work and and stupidity <laughs> is probably um, quite important at the moment. Uh, yeah, um, 
what else? Oh, my sister's coming back today. I haven't seen her um, since before the op, so um, be good to see her. She's coming back down from Durham Uni, um, and she's she's um, actually just had her she had her ACL reconstructed before Christmas, um, so she's kind of mid rehab. Um, trying to really strengthen up her knee um, so it'll be interesting to see how she's doing she's coming back literally for a for a like assessment thing on her knee and then and then she's got to go back to Durham on Thursday so mum's going to be taking her on Thursday Friday's going to be good although um, it looked like I was going to be on the house on my own um, like for the whole evening because mum is going to be in Yorkshire um, with um, a family friend of ours. Um, yeah, uh, it's a funny story about this friend actually. She's um, she we call her our adopted grandma because she she basically acts like it, and we've known her for our entire lives. So, um, but her and my mum used to work together. Anyway, she's uh, she's an elderly lady but she has she also has stage 4 cancer um, and originally when they so unfortunately her husband passed away a couple of years ago um, and she started feeling really ill and she went to the doctor and they told her she had stage 4 cancer um, and at the time they gave her um, 6 months to live it's now been well, it's now coming up on two years since that happened. Um, and every time her doctor sees her, he basically calls her a walking miracle. So um, I take a lot of inspiration from her because her attitude is just unbelievable. Um, she's so positive and so, well, stu stubborn for a start, she, um, <laughs> which is one of the reasons we love her um but her her attitude is just incredible to to all this stuff is is just so positive and just push through it and you come out the other side and it's and you know what happens happens but you the only thing that you can affect is your own mindset um so keeping positive keeping active as much as i can um yeah an incredible lady and I love it a bit, so um, gutted I can't go with mum to see her, but um, I spoke to her on the phone last week, um, and yeah, she sent me a book to read, um, everyone who knows me knows I'm not much of a reader, but, but it kind of looks like this is the kind of time to become a reader, um, yeah. Um, apart from that, I don't think there's anything else to say. There's today is just same as yesterday, trying to get through my exercises and stuff, um, and then seeing my sister later, pretty much. So yeah, tomorrow will be more of the same, I suspect, uh, with physio again in the evening. Um, and then Friday, obviously, I've got mates coming around, so looking forward to that. Should be good. Yeah.